hey future homeowners let me ask you this how much salary do you feel like you need to buy a house in berkeley in 2024 i know buying a home can seem like an overwhelming process especially in a market like in berkeley but don't worry today i'm breaking it down into simple steps by the end of this video we'll know how much clearer idea of what you're working with let's dive in first let's talk about what really affects home affordability it's not just home prices there's so much more to it first interest rate this is a huge factor even a small change in rates can dramatically impact what you can afford second your existing debt whether student loans credit card debt or car payments this will impact how much a bank is willing to lend you number three down payment the more you can put down the better off you are most buyers aim for 20 percent but there are programs with lower down payments too number four your credit score higher credit score means lower rates and that's a game changer all of these factors work together to determine your budget so let's talk about how to figure out what you can actually afford my name is Derek Hine your go-to real estate advisor in the East Bay Bay Area my goal is to bring you valuable information on real estate related topics in the Bay Area to keep you updated and to help you make an informed decision with your real estate needs. If you like the content, please smash the like button and click subscribe for more future content. Okay, now on to the fun part. Numbers. To figure out how much house you can afford, lenders often use a 45% debt to income ratio to determine how much a home buyer can afford. Here's the formula. Gross monthly income times 0.45 equals maximum payment Qualify. This includes your principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, often referred to as PITI. Now let's look at an example. Say you earn $150,000 a year, so your gross monthly income is $12,500. 45% of that is $56.25 monthly payment. So that's the maximum you qualify is $56.25 a month. But remember, you also need to factor in property tax, homeowner insurance, and HOA fees if applicable. Thinking about relocating to the Bay Area? Well, I got just the thing for you. I'm actually taking the time to create the ultimate relocation guide, which is meant to save you hours of research. And I have linked it down below. From top employers to the best hospitals, the top rated schools, and a boatload of other things that you need to know before you make the move. Now that we know the math, let's look at what you can buy in Berkeley. As of 2024, the median home price in Berkeley is around 1.4 million. Let's take a look at what that actually buys you in different neighborhoods. Here is a cozy four bedroom, one bath home near South Berkeley on 2022 Emerson Street. Asking price 1.39999 million. It looks well kept and is close to everything. Or check out this more modern home in North Berkeley, 1355 Acton Street. Similar price but with updated finishes and open floor plans perfect for entertaining for those stretching their budget a bit here's what you can afford up in the hill 523 great mountain avenue asking 1.495 million but it's completely updated with an amazing view you might ask how much do you need to make to afford a 1.4 million dollar home in berkeley let's do the math let's say you put 20 percent for down payment interest rate at let's say 6.5 percent could be lower with the fed lowering rates assuming property taxes at 1.25 percent of purchase price could be higher insurance at 0.35 percent of purchase price you are looking at about nine thousand dollar monthly payment at 45 percent debt to income ratio you need to make twenty thousand dollars a month or twenty two hundred forty thousand dollars a year wow i guess you better start cramping up those overtime or see if meta is hiring so what do you think ready to start planning every person's financial situation is different and there are so many factors that go into how much home you can afford if you want a personalized affordability assessment just reach out and i'll be happy to help you get started or if you're ready to jump in dm me home and let's talk about your real estate goals remember buying home is a journey and you don't have to do it alone thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more real estate tips and market update see you in the next video